our series through the IoT technology stack led us to the second layer, device software. This is the piece of software running locally on the device. This is where the data acquisition takes place, providing inputs to algorithms. In this case, this is a machine learning algorithm trained by data over time to take a decision, a machine learning model. IoT data has often the so-called four Vs attributes of big data, standing for volume, velocity, variety, and veracity. However, its main characteristic is its connection to time, so-called time series. There are three times lenses to look at IoT data. First, the direct measurement. It is a momentary event represented by a single data point, the value of a center at a given time. On this chart, these are every single variation. Then zooming out over a long time frame, we can identify episodes and patterns. An example of this is the temperature going smoothly up and down for each day. Finally, the data can be stored locally and sent to another more resourceful device for storage and long-term analysis and trends. Machine learning models are often trained on the cloud on a larger server as the process requires large amount of data and computing power. Then it is compressed, embedded on the device and can in some cases continue to learn and evolve based on new data inputs. This local algorithm is also referred to as age processing. It transformed data inputs into decision, removing the need to send raw data streams to the cloud and wait for a decision to come back. When the algorithm cannot run on the device because of resource limitation, the signal can be pre-processed to minimize the transmitted data. These are ways to reduce data communication, to fasten the feedback loop and mitigate data leaks. Thus, at this layer, what's in it for designers? Again, they should establish the characteristics of the device software. What data should be selected, transformed to fit the algorithm or discarded? What is the algorithm driving the device behavior? And more importantly, what are the boundaries of this behavior? As we shift towards learning and evolving algorithms, it is crucial to anticipate unexpected algorithm behaviors and provide fallback solutions. Finally, this is a very iterative process which requires designers to embrace agile and lean methods.